So here we have Mask. Correct, yes. Here, and Man the Manalord. That's right. Zelda main. Three, Manalord, my Zelda. Two, I Mask and Charizard, Zelda. all right. Go. So I'm familiar with Charizard and Smash 4, but not Project M. Yes. I would so, imagine it's weird with the wave dash. Uh, <laughs> there are a lot of differences, yeah. and I'll point out a few of them as I noticed, but yeah. in general, um, so Mask 1 in uh, Winter's Finals pretty decisively with, with Charizard, um, Manalord was playing Meta Knight, and right. had, honestly had a hard time um, defending against his approaches. Yeah. Charizard's deceptively fast. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually very surprised at how fluid his movements are. Yeah, so okay, so this down throw is definitely it's a, just a yeah. tech, rea tech reaction. Um, he could choose to tech it or not, or he could get up in place, but, yeah. but man, Charizard like to do oh, that. Oh, wow, he can float too. Is that yep. But man, that Zelda forward air factor is just too strong. Yeah, both of them have a yeah. sweet spot. They have the little spark of the toe. Right, right. Just like Melee's back air. Now, the, the one change in Playstyle or strategy that I'm going to see Mask use, I'm pretty sure, is you know uh, a lot more of his follow-ups are going to be off the top based on uh, Zelda's floatiness. Right. So forward air from uh, Charizard goes straight up. It's like Mewtwo's forward air in melee. Right. Wow, doing a pretty yeah, good so job. That, so that actually Zelda, might yeah. kill. Oh wow. Yes, it does. Was that uh, up throw? Yep. Up throw. Right. It looks awesome. It does. It doesn't yeah, do a ton of damage, a, it's but it does. It's basically a seismic toss. There it is. That's Pokemon. actually yeah. that's exactly it. Yeah, Mask is really good at, yeah, at really, these movements mixing Charizard up his approaches. Just, seriously. That's, you know, that's how you win these games. You gotta confuse the opponent. Just go. Uh, that's what yeah, makes Mango yeah. so good in melee. Oh, you know, Zero so good in Smash 4. It's got the neutral game, you know? Both right, so of these players are doing a really good job. So I play, I play game watch in this game, yeah. and he, like Charizard, has a down throw that just it puts you on the ground. Like Snake in right. Brawl. So it just like puts you on the ground, and when you're on a platform, that's super nice. Right. You don't have to. The only options they are have are the rolls, stand yep. up and plays, attack. Right. You can cover almost all of those. Yeah, he's just gonna put more damage. He needs about 24% before he can safely uh, kill the seismic toss again. Right. That's it. There it is. Is that like a guarantee? Is that like the Charizard guarantee, pretty much? It it's a really safe kill. Right. Uh oh, once you're at 120. Oh, so yeah. Yeah. Is that with every character or just Zelda? Pretty time. much with every character. I, I mean, I'm assuming a fast faller is going to need a little more percentage in order to die off the top or even the side like that, but... Right. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, Charizard's down beyond the ground, leaps him up. Uh, Bowser has that too in this game. And both can be used for some pretty awesome combos, especially since, like I was saying earlier, forward air sends him up. Right. So you'll see him do something that's really cool. He will dash, roar, so he'll turn around, but actually, uh, right, not roar. He'll use a neutral air. His tail will spin around him with the fire. Right. It's a super safe, uh, not a lot of hit, not a lot of knockback, but it's really good. But the hitbox is probably pretty gigantic. Mask having a good time. Yeah, man. it's massive. Um, really, every time I yeah, see that was actually a really good always, reaction by yeah. the Manalord. Every time I see Mask play, he's always having a good time. Oh, oh wow, the oh, beat here. That tech was nice. sick. Oh, wow. So that's the neutral air, right? I honestly those. wouldn't have expected her, or Zelda to down air yeah. right there, but Mask. Yeah, you know, if you're not ready for it, it's, it'll get you. Really, if you're not ready for that spike, you're not ready to be out of it. But yeah, so like that. It's that yeah, yeah. It's got range. Kind of, yeah, it's a really safe move. It's actually good for uh, getting back to. Oh, like almost getting that read on that on that roll. Yeah, up till to. Yeah. yeah. yeah, Zelda actually is, is one of those characters that. I think people underestimate how quick her relatively disjointed hitboxes come out. Yeah. So and just, just patience yeah. and good spacing. Yeah. And Mandalore takes it with that. Who came Actually, out of winners with this one? Mandalore or? Uh, so Mask is in winner's bracket right now. Okay, so Mandalore's got to reset. So Mandalore needs to get one more game here. I'm yeah. pretty sure we're exclusively oh, all the way to through doing best of three. Okay. All right. So Max, we're looking at six games right. here. Two, one, go! So what's interesting is, you know, uh, I, I think a lot of Zelda's strengths come out when she has the time to wall, to use to fire that side B thing. Right. Because in this game, you can put it wherever you want. You just kind of place it, um, and then you right. can call oh it back. Oh my the platform with that. Yeah, that was, was actually... That's really pretty fire. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty yeah. fire. It's pretty hot. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's guarding her kind of like you would against Sheep. Take ledge, yeah. and you just yeah. react based on whether they go for ledge, try yeah. to mix up, or onto the platform on the stage. 
until you mask makes Charizard look really fast. Really, it's it's. And he's actually really got a good dash. That's yeah. that, that's oh, wow. that is back throw kills it. He's, he's only ninety percent. Yeah, I don't think that was the best DI. DI. I think he was expecting yeah. um, down throw. Yeah. Because okay. down throw, you want a DI behind them. Right. So he was trying to avoid getting uh, back air sweet spot. Right. Yeah. So his health does have a throw mix really. up. Charizard does not have a throw mix up, no. given that he doesn't need one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and that's the dangerous part. It's, it's one thing that you... I actually kind of like it. It changes the way you have to play against Charizard, but you really have to watch out when you're at high percentage to not be underneath a tall platform. Right. Because he will... The higher the, that platform the is... The lower the percent you need. Yeah, the lower percent yeah. he needs to kill you. Right. And that's like... How do you even think of that? Like, you have to be it's, focusing on so many things. You know what? You gotta... It's part of the neutral game, really. Yeah, you know, that's what really separates the good from the bad players. Both these players right here have an amazing neutral game. Just missing that up against the ledge. It's a shame having an SD like that. Nice. Wow, but that forward air. She's so strong when you get that sweet spot. Alright, so we got a close game here. Yeah, really close game. Yeah, it's the same. That dash attack yeah. does so many. It, it's it's great out of shield. Yeah. Um, it's great as a punish. It actually is pretty good at covering tech chase. Not as good as Peaches because it doesn't pop him up. But right. still. So tell me, with the Din's Fire, what is, what is coming back to Zelda? Yeah, so I. In this matchup, that's, that's what I was going to say earlier. Mask is so in Zelda's face, yeah. he's in the Vandalook's face, that you know he doesn't have the chance to actually set it up, right. um, which I know is the reason why he's doing it. Um, that there's an advantage that you have there. But, oh, that was, wow, that was sweet. That retreating back here was actually really smart. I yeah. wonder if he set that up on purpose with forward tilt into, uh, or forward smash into back here. Oh, wait, man, that was a cool quick 50 in. Yeah. I mean, uh, Mask. He could take this one, too. Yeah. So I, so I wonder how much Zelda practice Mask has, because the way, the way, and I mean, I'm not Grand Finals, but the way that I know that you beat Zelda is you have to, um, you have to take advantage of uh, mix-up entries. Like, you, okay, so if you have a fast character, which I'm not going to say Charizard is, don't let Yeah, yeah, there it is. Yeah, I think the key is really that you, you. You sneak in, basically. So you, you fake a, or bait a particular approach. Right. You try to get her to react in a certain way. And after that, Zelda's biggest weakness is actually coming down. So you okay. can get her in the air, then you can rack up as much percentage as possible. Right. But besides that, I mean, it, winning neutral against Zelda is mostly about outspeeding, outpacing your opponent. Right. Um, right. But nobody, is Zelda like a common tier character? Like, will you see that often? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Okay. All right. I don't know, I just know that Mandalore plays Zelda um, when he does doubles sometimes on melee. I'll see him play Zelda even though I know he's a puff main. Um, and even so, it's just as tight as he is right now. Project M. Alright, so I'm we sure. are in yeah. our final set of the Project M tournament here at the Super Smash Brothers 50 bi-weekly special. Oh my god, so exactly what yeah, I was saying. Yeah. And that's why it, up tilt is actually a little, it's deceptively fast for, for Charizard. Yeah. So you get her in the air, I mean, we're looking at, that was 77 before she got down. So the key is, Mask is fast, we know that, but can right. he create baits or mix-ups in his approaches, yeah. otherwise he's just so out. It's just so tough with Charizard being such a huge... Yeah, okay, so that, that right there. Yeah, that, what is yeah, that? Yeah, exactly. That, so the Dinspire, like, you place it, right. and then after it waits a set amount of time, it yeah. will explode, oh, nice uh, and then almost. it will come back. Uh, a smaller version of it will return to you okay. boomerang style S, like it'll hit people right, on the way gotcha. back. But it's way better than the Boomerang because it does fire damage, which means the hit stun is good enough for you to right. set up some really cool combos. So what sometimes we will do is they'll put the Dins Fire out there, call it back intentionally at a particular point to help edge guard. So like to right. cover the ledge, for instance, or they'll just put it at the ledge. And if they bump them into themselves, so yeah. if I hit you from the other side of the Dins Fire, I can set up a free combo or grab. It's, that's pretty tight. And it's that's really something. Safe. Yeah, that There's, wasn't in Brawl, right? No, that's something they added to Project. Yeah, in Brawl it was like... I, that's, I'm actually like having a hard time remembering. I think you had. Oh wow, the movement by. Oh, it's yep. Mass Charizard is just so fluid. You know, it's not. Charizard Shield is pretty good. It's not unheard of for him to run up Shield and then punish yeah. out of Shield. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, hell no. Yeah. yeah, like I said, it's like guarding Sheik. You really have to. Yeah. Yep. Take ledge and then yep. wait and see what happens. I, I wish I'd taken those from this guy. Yeah, see, up tilt into. Actually, that was probably four tilt. No, that was up tilt. Uh, with the yeah. wing that picks him up. With the wing. Yeah, because that's four tilt. Yeah. Oh, bad DI on that one, but he's going to make it back. Yeah, it's it's not so bad for a Charizard because they're glide. Uh, oh, that's uh, Yep. 
44. Go Real orange. close game. Yeah. Go orange. Go orange. I, I say that. So I actually say that every time I see a 44 on the screen. Yeah. Um, I need like a special phrase for when they're two. Yeah, here comes the time. Get ready. Oh, no, no, no. Go uh, orange. In percentage. <laughs> but yes, go orange every day. I, I almost wonder, like, he does have. Charizard has the tools to, to be a wall out himself. Yeah. I guess the obvious change of strategy would then be that yeah. Mandalore would switch to uh, Dense Fire and, and range approaches. Wow. Yeah, but Mask has the really good, really good nice. spacing on Charizard. He's just so fast. He's just. Yeah, you know, so surprised again. It's my first time really watching a Project M set, let alone commentating for one, but that's it. Yeah, this is gonna be a throw in. Boom! Seismic toss. You know, almost almost arrived. Is that Good every idea. stage? Does that work on every stage? I mean that was close. He almost did it. It was die. close. He died to the right spot. The, okay. the left corner was definitely the best. Oh yeah. okay, so this is what cost me my games when I was playing in Squirtle. Yeah, oh, oh nice. Reads read the jump recovery, so oh the things. Dins fire, safe and fast. Yep. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, so what, what he did on that, not that kill the previous one, was yeah. you read the jump, and then because Zelda's back air forward comes up so fast, right. not only can you punish someone and take their jump and keep them off the ledge, but that's it. Oh, there it is. A little too deep. That's actually unfortunate. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can you can also, it has such a knockback that at 50, you're, you're talking a stock. So there are a lot of characters that are like that. Read the jump, like Falco. If you're at right. 50, and you read the jump, and you take it from him with the down air. Right, that's, that's it. Despite what those in the stream might think, that is not the Mandalore on the left. Yes. It could a, be. I, I mean, he's doing a good job of not playing. But that's, yeah. I'll wait until after this match. Yeah. Don't wanna... So, yeah, so Mask won the first match. Yeah. From the second set of Grand Finals. We've got both losers. Um, we'll have our, our, our guy to update that in a second. Yeah, so okay, look, so same problem with the first time they're on this stage. Yeah. If he gets one, yeah, so we're, we're already at yeah. the percentage where, where it's it's grabs, kill him. probably yeah. on, I mean, any, yeah, on any level. Oh, he doesn't go for the upper? Yeah, I wonder if he thought he was in the crack between the platforms, yeah. but I'm pretty sure it's here. He is going to be That's it. All right. Man, it must be nice to just know you can kill right? someone at yeah. the percentage. Now, wow, the wave dash is off the platform. Wavelength, this Charizard is just so funny looking, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's like I've never actually seen it doesn't funny. look right. <laughs> it just looks it's, weird. It's funny when you watch Ganondorf in Melee or in PM yeah. use platform lands and wave yeah. lands because like it's so fast. Like, yeah. It is so, it's so fast. fast. It's such a yeah. fat load. Yeah, he's a, he's a big yeah, he's tough. He's a big pile tough, but really mass making. Oh, see, okay, so that's what I'm talking about. You yeah. gotta get that, that beta that mix up there. Right. Get that damage. And once he gets a grab, he's actually yeah, he's, a his reads are really, really tight right now. Oh yeah. that He's actually converting a lot of damage yeah. off of these. Um, and that's really his strategy right now. Yeah. And I think the funny thing is, like, Man on the Lord knows it, and I'm not sure he knows what to do about it. Cause right. He needs to protect himself from getting uh, dash grab or shield grab. Right. Like that. So Zelda is a common character we'll see. What about Charizard? Uh, so, just, I guess, generally speaking with Project Jeff, there are probably about 20. There are 26 characters. Right. There are probably about 20 pretty darn viable competitive players. Okay. Characters. See, I like that. It's it's seriously. If you look at the top 20 players, they'll be playing different, 15 different characters. I like that. Um, I like it's that a lot. really awesome. And, yeah. And there, the melee. There are some players that specialize in PM playing melee characters. You know, your Fox and your Captain Falcon. Right. But um, ice climbers I've seen. Yeah. So <laughs> I I personally believe that pretty much all the characters can be used fairly well, um, yeah. and that they all have weaknesses and that they all have matchups. I think one thing with this game that I, I would understand people complaining about is that it's, um, oh wow, there are characters that have relatively hard counters to one another. The yep. meta, the matchup hasn't been, wow, he survived that. The matchup hasn't been developed enough, so this might be our last game actually, unless, unless Mandalore can turn around. But, um, oh, thought he had it. No, don't do it. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god, the reads on this Charizard are just so tight. A little frustrated with that side, with that, uh... Yeah, it's hard, it's hard, yeah. but again, with, like, against Forward. a Luigi or a Zelda with those really fast aerial moves like yeah. that, you have to know that it's done based on how much percentage yeah. they have, more percentage, more hits done. Oh, okay. nice. Ledge. Follow it. Oh. Oh. Wow. Come on, last stock, baby. Total bias until we're on last stock. 
so even one more forward air will kill. Yeah. Now the up throw's got uh, a chance. One mast. But it might be over. Oh, the read. Good dash. Dude. So damn. Yeah. yeah. How did he get that off? Yeah, he's gonna have to do something risky. Yeah. 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 Yeah.